Okay, this is a video test of a Fike fire suppression system with an FM200 agent. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly, dis well not discharge, the agent has been disconnected, but how the stages of the system work. So we have two zones. We have a smoke detector over on that side, and we have a smoke detector here. Upon the first, uh, the first alarm, this bell will sound for general alarm. Upon the second, that wheel lock horn strobe will start sounding along with the one outside to let you know that the pre-discharge has started. And then after the allotted delay, it will discharge. So, but that's the nozzle right there. It's been disconnected. So there's the manual release right here. We'll test this separately from these two smokes. So, all righty, here's the first smoke detector. Here we go. Now we are in the general alarm stage. We will now trigger the second smoke detector and begin the pre-discharge. All right, let her rip, Wilson. Right there, yep. Now we have entered the pre-discharge phase. And now we will come over to our squib and we will see the light come on to let us know that the system has discharged. Now the system has discharged. The light did not come on on that squid, by the way, so. All right, so we'll silence it, reset it. Okay, next we will be demonstrating the operation of the abort switch and the manual release station. So when testing your manual release, this unit here, this is a push station. So typically what you're gonna need to do is you want to remove your seal. And then once you remove your seal, you remove your safety pin. And then we will activate the manual release. Now, just to show you, when you hold this in, it will cause the panel to go into trouble. We have it silenced now, but once you hold this button to continue to keep it aborted, you must hold in the button as when you release it, it will come back out and restart the pre-discharge delay cycle. So now we will push the button and start the pre-discharge mode. Now the button has been reset and we'll go reset the panel. Alrighty, and now we are reset.